With this picture, I actually finished it before I had planned to because the moon and the clouds and the stars are on the back side of the glass and I was going to paint a winter tree in the front but I just fell in love with how this came out and then especially in the dark as you can see I took a walk in the woods and it inspired this piece I saw an entire flock of birds, hundreds of birds, flying in one direction, and then one single bird flying back the other way. This one lone bird was all by itself. And it had rained recently, so I saw reflections of the trees off of the water puddles, which inspired this piece. And you can see the reflection of the one bird and of course, this also glows in the dark. The sun, the cloud, the tree, and then the reflection even glows in the dark. And the sky, it's blue. I think I might have taken this one a little too far. So it started off, I call this one Dancing with Mr. D because you can see the main character there in blue, which has the natural eye, pupil, eyelashes. But then the other eye, see it's the blue and the red, but the eye is kind of discombobulated. It's not part of the red, it's within the blackness around the red. So it's supposed to be about, you know, life's dance with the devil and, you know, trying to do find heaven <laughs> and hell and living in the space between them I guess but there's empty space up here and empty space down there and I actually went ahead and put hell and then heaven and how crazy is this so when I put the clouds there I was going to put a, like a little bird on each cloud for the for the pupil but when the paint dried it made its own eyes. God made his own eyes in heaven overlooking this painting. How crazy is that? And of course, wouldn't you know it, it glows in the dark. Heaven does. Hell does. And everybody in between. Dancing, dancing, dancing so free. Dancing, dancing. dancing uh, maybe I so tried free. a little too hard with this one. Dancing, so free. There's a lot going with on Mr. there. D. Yeah. With, with Mr. D. D. Dancing with Mr. D. And I just finished this today. I really like the way it came out because the sun and the sunset are on the back of the glass where the buildings and the bird are on the front of the glass, which gives it a real depth. And of course, like all of my recent paintings, it does glow in the dark. So you get the sunset in the back and then I painstakingly went ahead and filled in all the windows on the buildings and that all glows in the dark, yo. What do you think of that one, huh? Let's finish that one today. And I'm still working on this one, about halfway through. I'm still gonna paint in the rest of the sunset, get all the colors there. You can see the ocean and then the green, and of course, it glows in the dark. <laughs>